Good evening, everyone. Today with me are Benjamin, Kaising, Donovan, and Janice. So today we will be here to elaborate more on our product idea. So what makes our product special? It's a soap-infused sponge that brings greater convenience to our users. Also, after a simple market research, we have yet to find similar product in the market. Next, let us move on to our innovations. The sponge has a smaller compartment that allows the user to insert a small packet of liquid soap into the sponge. With a press of a button, an estimated 50 cent coin amount will then be released evenly on the sponge. Now we will go through the value proposition. We recognize that hygiene is an extremely important factor that many may have neglected. Moreover, Singaporeans lead a fast-paced life and spend most of their time outside. With this sponge, it creates an efficient bathing experience for our customers as dead skin and dust can be removed more efficiently as compared to using our bare hands. Hence, the product enhances cleanliness with the same amount of time used. In addition, we will also be using biodegradable or recycled materials for our product. An example would be bamboo fiber, that has proven to be sustainable and more eco-friendly. I'll now pass on the time to Benjamin, who will elaborate more on our design and framework. Thank you, Jimmy. So now we'll be talking about the conceptual framework, design and the methodology. So basically, I'll be describing about the product. So this is the overview of the product. As you can see here, the top view, the front view, and the side view. So uh, in, in general, uh, I'm uh, just as uh, in summary, this product is a sponge, a base sponge, and then you have a box at the top and the handle. I'll explain more uh, with the following slides. So first, I would like to talk about the sponge. So uh, at the top of the sponge, there will be a first layer that uh, dents in the sponge. This to fit the box in, but the box will be slightly levitated so that the button could be there. And apart from that, there will be a second layer that in. This is for the part uh, where the soap is dispensed out. Without, uh, so when the soap is dispensed out into this hole, it can make uh, it spread more evenly. Spread out evenly. So next would be the refill pack. The refill pack uh, would be uh, made out of soft plastic, and similar to this picture that I showed you. So for the connector, uh, it wouldn't be in the center, as, and it would, be, it would look like this. The reason why we didn't have it in the uh, center like this bottle is said is because our button is at the, the upper part of the box. So if we were to put it in the center, the refill will sag and make it unstable, causing it to have a chance of breaking. That's why we use this uh, design. So next we will be looking at the box. The box uh, will have a dispenser system, as you can see right here. So this will be the button, and the connector will be there. Okay, so uh, the dispenser system will look like uh, it will follow the same structure of our usual um, soap dispenser, just that it's uh, in, in, in view to the box. Okay, uh, the spring will be weak enough so that uh, the user will press the button easily, but strong enough not to uh, overpress the soap. Next will be the length of the button. The button, the length of the button will control the amount of soap that comes out. So as Jimmy mentioned earlier, uh, the button is long enough so that when it's pressed, it will um, dispense out the correct amount of soap and not make it overspin. So when the button is pressed, uh, the dispenser uh, will move at, at the bottom of the box, which I'll show you the next time. So this is how it looks like from the bottom view of the box. But it's in the sponge. So when it's pressed, the soap will dispense out uh, from this hole here, because it's the tube. Okay, so uh, next will be the box and the refill. So uh, for this design, the, the refill will have a connector part connecting to the connector of the box. So this uh, part is similar to this um, pilot marker. I'm sure that most of us have used this before. The refill would be uh, to simply uh, to chuck it in. And when it's empty, we will just need to chuck it out. So when the user needs to do it, just to plug the refill back into the box and it will be stable there and the soap can be able to flow after pressing the a few times. So 
um, there in the uh, refill pack there wouldn't be any straw because we will be using uh, the uh, suction and the button is pressed uh, to suck out. So when the it's empty, the user will just plug it up and get another refill pack and just chuck it in. Okay, next will be the cover. So for the top view, this will be the different views of the cover. So first, I would like to focus on the uh, top view. The handle is not in the center for a reason. If we put the handle in the center, the person's hand might not be long enough to reach the button at the end of the box. So we put it slightly above so that they can reach the button. This uh, cover will be an open close concept, uh, as in yeah, open close cover. So at the tip of the cover, at the bottom of the cover, there will be a uh, lock by click. So the user can uh, lock the cover to prevent it from opening when they are using it. At the bottom of the cover, there will be soft rubber so that uh, it will be firm when close rather than leaving some gaps where it will be quite unstable. This will be the perspective. So this, will how, this is how it looks like uh, when the box and cover are together. So there will be a hole here so that the cover can be closed. So that's all for the product design. So now I'll move on to talk about the possibility of success. Uh, as this is a new innovation, uh, which, are not, which is not seen in the market yet, it's, it might take quite a, a, number, uh, quite a long time to gen, uh, create this product, but it's not impossible. So the only, um, one of the important things we need is, would be the technology to design the product and for the sponge itself. As babies need the soft touch and elderly need the muscles, this sponge can do the job. Next, also retailers are looking for innovative products which can help them to sell the product. So, if uh, it, as this product is innovative and if it's uh, many people like it, it will generate profits for the retailers. And lastly, if the product really works, we could patent it, making the product more valuable. So now I'll pass my time to Kaisi. So now I'm going to talk about the workflow and processes. So first, um, we will base on our, our business idea, um, challenges that we will face, value proposition, strength, weakness, and uh, product for the pilot project. We also create website, including uh, all the products that we are going to sell, and also adding on the uh, adding the payment methods and uh, check on the security, for example, credit card security that we need to have. We also contact a um, sponge or plastic company uh, if we see if they can, the manufacturer can combine both together um, to develop the product uh, we desire. Um, if the, after the product is developed, we will allow people to try out, uh, we will give them sample and uh, also ask them for the feedback. So if the response is successful, um, we will patent we will patent a product uh, maybe for two to four years. Um, and while waiting, we will just continue with the the things that we, the process that we are going to do. So after that, uh, we will head to a manufacturer for our production of the sponge. So um, we will sell to customer on website and also cooperate with a business partner like maybe Johnson maybe or to go for the shampoo. So next milestone. So um, first we will, for product objective milestone, uh, we will um, estimate it to be around 30 days, which is correct to 0.1 and 0.2 from the previous slide. So next is uh, product architecture milestone. Um, we estimate it to be 61 days, around 2 months like that. Uh, initial operational capability milestone, um, around 14 days. And uh, the, finally, the product release also um, to be estimated 60 days. So, yeah. now I'll pass my time to uh, Jamie. So now I will continue with the work distribution of the team members. Firstly, being the CEO, I'll venture a the process <coughs> of the development and production of our products and to make sure our team remains coordinated along the journey. Next, the CFO Janice will produce an in-depth financial report stating our cost structure and revenue model. She will also ensure expenditure remains within our budget. 
following up our COO Karsim will keep in touch with our manufacturers and keep track of our inventory and delivery process. The CTO Benjamin will be responsible for the operations of our website such as PayPal and to ensure online orders are met. Last but not least, the CMO Ben Donovan will increase our brand recognition of our product through use of social media, website and mobile applications. Now I'll pass on to Donovan who will talk to you about our target market. Uh, yes, thank you uh, uh, Jamie. So basically, uh, I'll be actually talking to you guys about like, the target market for our this product. Like every other new product, there will be a, definitely a target market that we are going to target. So actually, right, for our product, we're going to target on mothers who actually are having like babies, what actually like age from like one to five. Um, and also, we have actually targeted another special category which will be elderly. Actually, elderly nowadays, they might be somehow a little bit immobile. That's why they might find it hard to like take a soap and then they shower. That's why this product of ours, right, we actually make it so much more easier as, as it is a two-in-one product. We can somehow attract them to actually buy this product. And yes, uh, next. Actually now I'll be talking to you guys about like our potential, market potential of this product. Okay, so as you know, in Singapore, there's kind of like 5.56 million people, and then there's about 1.97 million females aged about 25. And we've actually done our research and we actually assumed that mothers are actually having babies at an average age of like 29 years old. Yes. And the market potential will be around 13.79 million for a product being priced at $7. And yes, I'll now be passing the time on to my Janice to talk to you all about the competencies of our product. Okay, hello everyone. Um, okay, so like now I would like to emphasize about how the, the types of people and expertise that we need to work on for um, regarding this project. Okay, so first, right, um, we need to have, as I expected, we need like plastic manufacturing and sports industry so that we can tap on their expertise to really help us do an in depth research about this entire thing because, like, for now, we don't have that knowledge to create that exact product. And as mentioned before, we need a manufacturer um, to produce, uh, to supply us the sponge and the soap as well. And then we move on to our professional marketer because like, it's important for every business to have a marketing um, personnel so that they'll be able to increase the branding, increase advertisement for our product. And of course, we then would try to um, work with Google experts because then they'll be able to give us like a full analysis, a full in-depth study of how um, how welcoming our product is to the customers themselves. And now I would like to talk about the cost breakdown. So cost breakdown, right? Um, what we have here, it's really a very rough 